Hi, fifth graders. Today we are talking about lesson eight of the fifth grade textbook, The Deliverance from Slavery. George and Sarah are cousins. They are both in fifth grade and they love playing games outside. George likes soccer and Sarah likes dancing. They both love going to church every Sunday. Sarah, George, would you like to make some pizza for dinner? Yes, Grandma, we are really hungry. Well, let's get started. Let's go to the kitchen. Grandma, can you please tell us a story while we make dinner? Of course, I can tell you a story while we make some dinner. Let me tell you the story about how Moses saved God's people from slavery. Once, Moses reached Egypt. Moses and his brother Aaron approached Pharaoh and told him to set his people free. Once they were there, they told Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Let my people go, so that they may celebrate a festival to me in the wilderness. Did Pharaoh listen to them? Pharaoh did not listen to Moses and even tortured the Israelites even more. The Israelites were mad at Moses because he made Pharaoh angry and that is why he increased the workload for the Israelites. Was Moses really upset that the Israelites were mad at him? Moses was extremely upset but God still encouraged Moses. Moses talked to Pharaoh again. Did Pharaoh listen this time? Pharaoh did not listen to Moses this time either. They were mad that Pharaoh did not listen to them. Later, God brought the ten plagues upon Egypt. Why did God send the ten plagues? God brought the ten plagues all over Egypt so that he could liberate Israel from slavery. Do you remember the ten plagues? The first plague was that the water in the Nile River turned into blood. That's correct. The Egyptians could not drink the water of the river. All the fish in the river floated dead. Do you remember what was the second plague? The second plague was that the whole world of Egypt was filled with frogs. Yes, according to the request of Pharaoh, Moses prayed and the frogs moved away from Egypt. The third plague was gnats flying all over Egypt. Good job! These gnats made life for the Egyptians intolerable. Do you remember the fourth and fifth plague? The fourth plague were flies. In the fifth plague, all animals in Egypt died. That's right! Then, boils affected all of his people and the animals alike. Pharaoh still did not change his mind about freeing the Israelites. Then, God caused the heaviest hail to fall on all men and the animal of Egypt. Do you know what happened next? Next, the whole world was filled with locusts, and then all of Egypt was in darkness for three days. That's correct. The last plague was the killing of the firstborn of Egypt by the messenger of God. The Lord said, Every firstborn of the land of Egypt shall die, from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sits on the throne to the firstborn of the female slave who is behind the hand mill. The messenger of the Lord did not kill just any of the Israelites though. Do you both know about the feast of the Passover? I know that God commanded Moses that the Israelites should observe the Passover feast. I know that the Passover means to pass by. You are both correct. 
on the day of the Passover, they should choose a male lamb, unblemished and one year old. On the fourteenth day, everyone should slaughter the lambs. They took some of the blood of the lamb and sealed with it the two door posts. The Israelites shall eat its meat roasted over the fire with unleavened leavened bread and bitter herbs. All circumcised men of Israel should observe the Passover. On the night of the Passover, the messenger of the Lord killed the firstborn of every man and animal of Egypt. But the messenger of God passed by without killing the firstborn of the Israelites, as blood was sprinkled on the doorposts. Only the firstborn of the Egyptians were killed. Was Pharaoh angry by the tenth plague? Pharaoh was really angry, and he was ready to release the Israelites. Israelites were finally freed from slavery in Egypt. After they had left Egypt, Pharaoh and his army tried to bring the Israelites back to him. When they got to the Red Sea, Moses held his staff stretched out towards the river. The water on the sea retreated, and the Israelites were able to pass through the water and reach the dry land. Once they crossed the sea, Moses raised his hand over the sea and turned back to its normal depth. Pharaoh's army, who tried to chase the Israelites, drowned in the sea. So the people were safe in the land. Yes, the Israelites were safe. The people of Israel praised God for delivering them from slavery. The Lord had ordered to keep and observe the Passover. On this evening, the table of God is very well set, and it is spotless and pure. The full apostles of the tribe of the Israelites are engaged in celebrating the eternal mystery. Hallelujah! On this day at sunset. Life Witness When afflictions and troubles occur in our life, we ought to call upon God and pray. Then God will hear our prayers and will come for our help. When we advance through the path God chose us, it will become salutary to us just like it happened to the people of Israel. Let's memorize today's Bible verse. Psalm chapter 120 verse 1 In my distress I cry to the Lord that he may answer me Let's do some questions Explain the reason why God brought 10 plagues over Egypt What was the 10th plague over Egypt How did Israel observe the Passover how was the people of Israel delivered from Egypt? Activity Label the pictures of plagues in the correct order. Come on, Sarah and George, it's time for dinner! Yay, dinner! Let's eat!